Hello all, let's get this started. I'm going to talk about fluctuating mock score. And I'm sure that fluctuating mock score is really frustrating. So let's talk about it. Understand what to deal with it, uh, how to handle this, and is there anything important that we need to understand with respect to the situation that you are in. Now, first of all, before we even start, we'll have to first figure out what scores are we talking about. I mean, I mean there are different scores. The one is your, uh, I'm just going to call your raw score. Uh, raw score is a score that you get, which is uh, which is a uh, plus three for every correct answer, in negative one for wrong answer. So if there is a theta question, then zero. So let's that is a raw score. Then there is a second thing, which is the percentile. It is actually not a score, the percentile rank, because at the end of the day, it gives a sense of uh, what rank you got, right? So what is fluctuating really? Okay, so the, but there is one more score. So to help you understand that, so let's look at these are the 66 questions that you get, right? I'm assuming uh, 66 uh, question paper. It could be any number of questions. So we'll, we'll, whether CAT is going to be a two art test or a three art test, we'll come to know pretty soon. But let's assume for the moment that is a two art test, so which means total number of questions is 66, like it was last year. Now to the 66 question, I might not know everything. So maybe uh, from here to here uh, is would be probably the part is based on my knowledge, which means that there would be questions here, which uh, which is beyond my competence. I don't have the competence uh, to solve these questions. Even if I've got time, it is quite possible, right? Um, I can still make a lot of mistakes. So this is my, let's say my real, I'm just putting the value here is my card. <coughs> and what of course happens in examination, we don't even attempt all many questions. We probably will miss some certain number of questions. In the examination, we'll probably end up attempting this much. right? So this, this uh, probably would be my attempts. Uh, it could be slightly, but let me actually, this is like too bad. 50% of the questions you did not attempt that in your academics. Like, let's put it here. Okay. Let's put it that to be my attempt. I attempted X number of questions. This is what I actually attempted. Out of this question that I attempted, I'm probably going to get some questions correct and some questions wrong. So this is this is this this particular point here is the number of questions that I got correct, and which eventually gets my marks by by negating whatever is the negative marking that I got here. So so the 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 area that is going to be here are let's say the my missed uh, opportunity or the question that I sort of missed. Um, this will happen once you take the test, when you read, uh, retake the test once again without any time limit, you understand how much do I actually know, and that is going to happen, right? And then, then you have the next one, which, which, are, which are stuff here, uh, wherein uh, you made mistakes, uh, probably all mistakes, I'm just going to call it silly mistake. And, and these are all the things that, uh, I'm up, uh, the, and these many things are, are the one that you actually got correct. Now, when you look at the score, are you telling me that your this score is fluctuating? Number of corrects is frustrating. Are you telling me this code is fluctuating? Which means I have after re retake my test. Is is that fluctuating? My sense of the word is this: uh, this code is likely going to increase over time because as you, as you know, know more, you'll know more many stuff. But what what is really fluctuating? Is your rank fluctuating? So the first thing that we need to understand in, in terms of when, when, when we even answer this question, is fluctuating scores. I just need to understand what is fluctuating. If this is fluctuating, this is this is the, the, the number of correct is fluctuating. It could be more number of reasons. Uh, maybe you uh, you have figured that out. Why, why did you, for example, missed all these questions here, which you could have solved? What were you doing? What behavior was it? So, a you need to understand. You and I should be very sure and clear about what is that which is fluctuating. Now, if it is my gut feeling. Is that uh, while the score difference you see is, uh, I do understand the, the, the number of corrects may go up and down, number up and down. We're not able to make sense of what the hell is going on. But what is absolutely important is that at the end of the day, you look at, for example, you've got test one, test two, test three, test four, test five, and so on and so forth. Let's look at your score. Okay, each of the section, you also figure out, let's say, what is your sort of, sort of your OCAD score. And also look at the third one. I need to understand what is the 99th percentile score. 
okay 99 percent i'll score 95 percent i'll score you can put those numbers here and those are the gap that i need to identify for every every single test so for me to make sense of why things are fluctuating uh that is important for me to understand i need to understand again what i'm saying is you've got your test score your test score is one value that you need to have other value that you need to have is your aukat score Okay, for each of the section, you would want to look at what is the 90th percentile sort of score or 95th percentile score or the 99th percentile score or maybe even 99.5 percentile score. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that when you take the mock test, if the number of test takers is anywhere more than 500, whichever mock test that you're taking, if more than 500 is statistically valid data you would get. All right, so that's the case. Five, even 1,000 is good enough to get a sense in terms of what the hell is happening. And then you look at across these tests. Now, what I essentially need to understand, for example, my uh, my uh, gap. So, so let's assume, for example, I'm, I'm I'm focusing currently on the 99th one. So, the gap there there is one gap that is between this this gap between your Aukat score and 90 percentile score. And other gap, of course, your test score and your Aukat score. These are these are sort of the gap that you can understand when you when you un understand these fluctuations. Why this fluctuation have to happen? Uh, is, is it because the paper was different? Some, sometimes I've also seen that since people take sort of multiple test series, mock test series, uh, you and then 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 it, the, the, then from one test series, other test series, you see certain certain changes. You can't make sense of what this changes is. It is absolutely important to put these numbers here, so we'll get a grounding. Uh, uh, we will probably understand in terms of where am I with respect to the uh, the person who is getting the score, and. Another important thing is let's talk about this uh, the, the, the fluctuation that happens in the percentile rank. So I've, I've got this data here, which I hopefully ah, that's there we go. This is the CAT 2021 scale score versus percentile rank. So this is the data that we have. So once the CAT is done, so we, we've collected data from the students with us, and these are the kind of score. This is a reasonable plot of the CAT score. Now, typically what happens, the people who are essentially getting more than, let's say, 99, there'll be 100 percentile here, people who are getting more than this percentile, they actually don't see uh, too, too much of variation with respect to the percentile, though there could be huge variation in score. If you actually look at the point, let's say this is the, there's a point, let's, let's look at that particular point close to about 99 percentile and look at this particular point, which will be, uh, which will be probably about 99.87 percentile. The difference in score is huge. The real fight happens. So even if let's say there's a huge fluctuation in score, you see that your percentile is like 99, 99.5, 99, 99 to 99, sometimes 99.5. You see that your percentile is actually not, uh, at least you start seeing 99, 97, sometimes 98, 99.73. So people who are who have already reached this particular level, you actually need to understand that you need to have a huge chunk of increasing your score so that you'll be able to get pretty high, very high percentile, right? But you don't feel it. You, know, you kind of you don't feel the change. The real worry happens to all, all, all of us who are, let's say, let's say somewhere in the 70th percentile. Let's say I'm in the one one test, I got 75th percentile. But I have no idea what happened. Other sets, I'm already going to 50 percentile. So from 75 percentile, I went all the way to 50 percent. I don't know what the hell is happening. Nothing is happening. If you actually look at the story here, uh, let's look at this. This is this is this is a 51 percentile. This is a 75 percentile, right? And let's look at what the gap are we looking at. So this is each, each of these points is five marks, right? So we've got five, 10, 15, 20. We have got a gap of about 20 marks. This 20 marks is spread across, let's say that's about seven questions. Uh, let's assume for the for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to look at six questions. Six, three, zero, 18. Let's look at six questions. Six questions is two questions per set, section. Now, for a small change, so small mistake happen, you actually see your percentile fluctuation happening too much. So sometimes even even if you look at, for example, my percentile is fluctuating between 50s or all the way till I don't know 25 percentiles. I don't know what the hell is happening. So if you look at the 20th percentile is somewhere here, yeah, 20th percentile, and 50th percentile is somewhere around. Yeah, what 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 is the difference that we're looking at? Again, the same thing. We're looking at about what 10 odd months. That's about three four questions. So your so while people are you are getting uh, the, the scores or percentiles, once again, okay, let me just okay, sorry. <laughs> ah, so the one that is happening with respect to these uh, people who are getting more than ninety nine percentile in, in sort of in the mock test is 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 not 
not feeling the pinch, but you actually see that if you want to get to, let's say, 99.5, 99.7, if, if your target is such, if you want to get to the top three colleges, then you know that your score has to really jump up. That's one sort of worry. But the people here are honestly getting worried with respect to this junk. Right now, do you want to agree that this is a this is CAD, but mock is very different. I've taken the data. Uh, this is uh, the next one, which is open. I hope that things going to happen. Yes, it has come. Count on CAD number one. You see that the graph is exactly the same. Probably the number of test takers uh, over here was uh, close to about 4,000 uh, test takers here, which is a good enough graph. It's the same thing. Again, you look at uh, where is our uh, 99 percentile, which will be somewhere here. I think that's that score is what about I can see about. Uh, 85-ish, I think that even here, uh, you can see that score is about 85 only. See, yeah, perfect. And if I want to look at something like a 75 percentile, I can see something like a uh, 40 there. And I'm also guessing that it will be, by and large, very, very similar. Right, where, where is my 40? Okay, close to about 8, sort of 80. Where, where is my 40? My line is gone for a toss. Wait a second, what is my 40? This is my 40 line. That is where it's happening, okay. Very close to about 79%. So it's very similar. So again, the same thing happens. I, imagine, let's say that in one mock, I've, I'm, I've got a 50th percentile. Other, other mocks are I'm getting the 75th percentile. Sir, what is going on? Sir, I don't know what is happening. Nothing much is happening. The only thing that is happening is that the further the, the this difference in scores, what are you looking at? This we are looking at about 20 marks here. And this we are looking at, let's say, what about 40 marks here. And looks a huge jump. 20 to 40 marks is still about seven questions. Difference, that's it. And one bad day, you've got a bad day, your fluctuation will happen. But here, of course, people moving from 99 to 99.5, so you see that the, that uh, that jump is huge. So they, therefore, they don't see variation with respect to people who are here, don't see much variation with respect to the percentile. Even though they start seeing variation with respect to scores, here what is happening, the different story, that a small variation is going to have a huge percentile change. So while you're looking at this fluctuating score, you have to keep this in mind. So I don't have to worry about any of these things. What I have to worry about, irrespective of whatever the score that is fluctuating or not, I'm going to make my life very, very simple and clean, which is, which is something that I mentioned here. We, we can understand this once again. All that I have to do is I have to move on with my process. I have to stick to my game. It's, it's a process. And eventually, the test that matters is the final uh, cat. So nothing else in between really matters, but it matters to the extent that is going to help me learn. The process of every test is very simple. I have got my score that I've got. And then I'll redo all the question without any time limit. I get that score. Let me just call it my Aukat score. And I'm going to list down the score, which, which I'm sure is available. At least in the career launcher, you've seen those graphs. If you, you've seen, seen these graphs. Uh, in the first uh, page, I think you can see at various percentile what score is. You you might be interested in whatever percentile. In section wise, you probably have a good idea to look at the 90th percentile. Or let's look at whatever percentile that you want to look at. So let's take a 99th percentile score for that particular uh, test, which give, give, gives you a sense in terms of how far we are. And let's say this is my test number one, test number two, test number three, test number four. And let's look at track these scores. Right. And you have to look at track these scores. So, for, for example, whatever, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. Right. So, there is a gap, which is C minus B gap, which is your Akkad score to the 99 percentile score. My gut feeling is that this is not going to be much. And then you have a B minus A gap. Okay. And this is not this. So, if, if you want to move from, if there is a gap that exists here, from this to this, which means that I need to study a little bit more. But more importantly, I need to understand how to deal with this, what kind of behavior you want to change. So, it doesn't matter if the score is fluctuating. It doesn't matter. Some tests may be very difficult. Some tests may be easy. The test level of difficulty may change up and down. What is happening is that you keep your life story very simple. I really, really want to talk to those people who are getting fluctuating score between 50 percentile, some 40 percentile. Sometimes you get 30 percentile. You don't even want to tell people you got 30 percentile. Please understand that it's, it's a small jump. If you if you look at two questions in every set. So th that's a jump that you, I would want to see. So if, if you simply from wherever you are, let's take, for example, I'm here. Uh, uh, let's take 20 jump, one to that four, right? So that is 10 to 30. So that is like two questions per section. If I have two questions per section improvement, I'm am, I am just going to go up that direction, go to this particular place, one, two, three, four. Then I can jump to this particular place, 90th, 
one, two, three, four, and then I'll I'll hit that particular place. It's about that improvement. What is obviously going to happen is that if, 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 if when you are in this particular region, you will naturally see a lot of fluctuation with the percentile time. Don't worry. Like what I told you just now, what you have to essentially focus on is this. Keep a note of this one and continue to take the mock tests. Continue to do the learning. I'm sure that life will be good. Thank you so much and goodbye.